Hello there, everybody. Welcome back to more Understand. Last episode, we left off with a little bit of a dilemma in 4-5. Uh, we were stuck on this puzzle right here, um, which I I promptly stared at <laughs> for, for another, like, 10 minutes after the video ended. Um, and I, I just tried everything, right? Uh, and eventually this one worked. Okay, so then I started looking. I started looking. I went back to the beginning and I stared at all these, right? Uh, and I went, why in the world does this one work? Here's what I came up with that I think maybe is the thing. Okay, we had the dilemma in this one, right? Where it looks like this should work, but it fails the third one, right? Because I look at this and I go, why does this fail, but this doesn't? And here's why. At least uh, what I think <laughs> is why. These are not the same shape, dude. They're not the same shape at all. Um, There is no rotation that you can do to this shape to get you this shape. This is a flipped shape. However, this, you absolutely can rotate it. This you can rotate, this you can rotate, this you can rotate, and finally this you can rotate. You rotate this 90 degrees once you get this. So I think what we're looking at is that the, the infamous third dot that we were struggling to figure out is just that it's a rotation of the shape containing the symbols. So that makes our life actually easier. I mean, in, in retrospect, right? Because we, we, we kind of know how to do these now it's just a matter of doing them so i think what we want to do is we want to prioritize as small of a thing as we can do right so when it's just a two slot because theoretically i mean we we could maybe do this no actually there's there's no way to do this one a different way uh yeah there's no way to do this one a different way because you'll always have um an empty white space but that's beside the point if we can do you know, if there's multiple stuff, then you want to do a three, right? A three block, because this gives you four unique things. If you need more than four unique things, then you got to start getting weirder. But I don't, I'm not even sure you can have that, right? Um, so if possible, we want to do threes. If it comes down to it, we'll do fours, right? Because it fits, because this, this allows us to do, you know, honestly, that's what we could create here. Uh, hold up. Let me let me see if this is possible. Um, no, you know what? I don't I don't think it is. <laughs> I don't think it is. Whatever, right? So we move on to this. I started messing around with it, but I have no idea what I'm doing. Um, so I figured we'd we'd start here on camera. I was gonna try to finish this entire puzzle off camera, um, but I, I realized that you probably want to see it anyway. So here's what I want to try. I want to try to put these stars in three unique uh, corners. That's not gonna happen easily because of this, right? Once you get to here, you're fret. <laughs> because you can't turn this into a thing. It's the fact that we have an odd number on the uh, or odd number in the vertical that makes us not able to just, you know, wrap yourself around the corners and isolate each of these as a separate unique shape of three. So we have to get weird with it, which means that I'm going to try something along these lines to get there. Um, that means that we have to have this guy end over there. So if we do something like this... So he now has to, how does he have to be? Uh, he can't be like that, actually. Unless we start like here, but then that creates even more issues, actually. Um, that's gonna create issues. What, what if we go all the way across the bottom? Nope, that's also gonna create a lot of issues. So I think what we have to do is we have to prioritize making making these all feel a little a little different but i'm not really sure how to do that yet um so that that's where we're at hopefully that helps clear up um perhaps some of the some of the puzzles here um 
it's still really hard, right? I mean, it, it's a it's a difficult puzzle. You know, so this guy up here, he can be like this. Or he can be like this. Or he could be like this. But it can't be like this. Which means this has to be reserved for one of these two. And I actually like this more, if I'm being honest. Like, I kind of like this start. And then maybe coming down here, that's two unique ones. Then... If we do that, that means that the bottom guy has to be set up as the reverse chair, meaning we end in this square right here. That's what I'm looking at. And we can do that like this. Okay. <laughs> And dude, it's perfectly symmetrical. Look at how beautiful this ends up looking. That that's just a great puzzle, man. That that's just a great puzzle. You know, you kind of you, you can figure out the logic of it and then just move from there. I love it. Um, and now we got this. Okay. So we know what we have to do. We know what we have to do. Three separate unique shapes. So I'm looking at something like this. Okay, um, how are we gonna, how are we gonna do that? I think we maybe want to do something like this, and then, okay, it's a little weird, right? How do you fit three unique variations of these in without touching? That, that's, I guess, where you have to start. So I like this and this combined. The problem with this and this and creating this kind of square shape is you'll never fill in this middle spot, which means that you fail, I think it's the fourth um, condition. So this can't be like this, which means you gotta do something like this, which means this is the obvious start. And I, I like that because then you can basically wrap... You can wrap around like this but then that creates its own set of problems um, because you got two spots where you have to end. Let's start from down here instead. And then... Actually, that's not going to be possible either. Yeah, that's not going to be possible either. You can maybe... So, you, you got to have this guy here. set aside and then is there a way so that's not going to work because these guys are together and we can't form an isolated spot for one of them it, it's a it's a unique little situation huh it's a good puzzle. I, I actually, I'm, I'm learning to really like this section. Um, I didn't really like it at first, but I, I think this section is really unique because it, it forces your brain to, uh, to really work in a very different space than, than some of these others. So this spot right here, let's talk about this square, man. So this square can never be a part of this guy, which means he has to be like this, like this, like this or like this but if he's like this he can never be like this so he can be he can never be like this i don't think so he has to be i think he maybe has to be like this dude and then this ends up no he can't be like no, he can't be like this. Wait a minute. So this square and this square cannot be a part of our things. Which actually, that, that makes this much easier. Because now this guy can be like this, or he can be like this. And and not anything in between. Which means we, we have to be able to start like this. And end in the bottom right. That actually possibly improves this. But then how do we fight that middle square? that we know can't be a part of this. I might, my logic might be off here. Um, my logic might be off. If this, 
Let, let's work inside out. There's more space on the outside here. If this square is filled, this guy can be like this, or he can be like this. If he's like this, then the spot you have to... Well, the, if, if this is like this, let's talk about this guy now. Because it, it goes down the line. If he's like this, then he can be like this, which he can't be. Or he can be up like this. So I think you gotta start with that. So now you got that going... But then you come down to here and, and you're stuck, right? Because you, you can't you can't find a way to sneak into this. Which means that this square can't be. It, it can't be it can't be this. Which means it has to be this. So we start in that square. But then how do we how do we make that work? The problem is that I, I think we have to go up through one of these to kind of lock it down. But that's a lot easier said than done, I'm going to tell you. So you maybe go around, up. Yeah, or, or you go... <laughs> it It's weird, man. There, there's so many, the spots right below each of these, this guy, this guy, this guy, and the spots above. It's like there, there's a checker pattern here that makes it really difficult to figure this out. So you get surrounded. You get surrounded. Oh, I like this start, actually. We're, we're forced to end in the middle, which will make this not work. I, you, you, you can't have you can't start and end in this middle spot what if we do something weird and then you go <sighs> the problem is you can never make this shape but this guy can never go like this so you gotta touch both of these squares some somehow. And he can't go a line like this because he has to be like this. We we know that this guy has to start in one of these two positions, so let's just work from there. I I think that's the only way that we can kind of fathom doing this right now. But we also can't have that guy go up like that. So you you have to kind of make and this is the same way that we always start, man. And that's just, it's just not going to work. Um, so maybe, oh, I, I kind of don't like that. That then puts the middle part as part of it. You can go like around like this. That's the same thing I've been doing. Where do you go from here? Where do you go from here? You go, you, you, you can't go down here, so you have to continue, but that puts you at ending our other guy in the middle, like this, which you clearly cannot do, but you also can't go all the way down here. So maybe we can do it around instead and go from down here to here, over to here, maybe you can go like this, and then around, no, this is, this is never gonna work, <laughs> this is never gonna work, maybe you could do this, no, there's, there's no chance, because those guys are always gonna touch, like that, that's three unique shapes, but they all, they all touch each other. <laughs> <laughs> which makes it a little makes it a little not possible for me um can't do this 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 literally makes it impossible um can't do that that makes it impossible you could start like this i guess and then around down 
but then you're stuck here again. Because you, you gotta end, like, here. Dude, it's it's a really, really difficult one. I, I'm gonna tell you, they, they were not messing around when they made this one. Dude, this was a tough puzzle. Okay, he's isolated. He's isolated. Hey, what if we ended here? Oh, dude, this will work, actually. Okay, wait. I need to take a picture of this because I'll lose this if not. I think. Ma ma I, I think maybe this works. <laughs> maybe this works. Take a, take a picture on the phone so I can then trace what I just saw. So we're going to start down here instead. And then we're going to go... Ah, uh, no, wait, I com I, this is completely wrong. Yeah, th this, this definitely does not work. Yeah, that definitely doesn't work because I'm using this square. We can't use this square. So if you start from there, you go all the way. You'd have to do something like this. It's like, that's close. That's close. But this is a uh, close but no cigar kind of moment because it is is just not good enough. Um, I feel like you have to start in one of these two spots because it's impossible otherwise. But maybe you can do something weird like jumping. I, I still think this guy can only be Oh, okay. I didn't I, I didn't think this through. Um we could make fours instead. Right? I mean we, we could do fours instead. So what if we instead did No, you know what? You you can't do fours. You can't do fours. Because you'll always have Uh, maybe, maybe actually. Up through here, and then... No, dude, I don't think there's enough space to pull off the fours. Because you, you can do like this, but then those two are the same. There, there's not enough space to have them... Uh, actually, wait a minute. I know I keep on saying, actually, wait a minute, and then I hop back in. He's vertical, he's horizontal. Why does this not work? Because this shape can never actually be made. Yeah, these, these are not proper rotations. This guy is wrong. He needs to be flipped. If it was like this instead, that would have worked. So can I make that? I can. This, this will work. This will work. Okay brilliant um we we messed this guy up <laughs> i i don't dude my brain was so dead set on threes it was so dead set on threes i just spent 20 minutes on that singular one i'm so sorry i'm so sorry but we have completed it we're done four six okay square bigger square with a square in it okay square bigger square with a square in it can't start with this shape. It's okay. Um, what is the vibe here? I think we definitely have don't. Okay. So as long as there's different size squares and then a shape in each one, if possible, or, or something like that, um, I don't fully understand. Okay. I think it's literally just make sure that there's different size squares, but definitely do not touch a shape. I, I think we've learned that one nice and clear, which does not give us a ton of room to work with here. I'll tell you that. Um, probably have no white space is one of these. Maybe the second one. So if I do like this... Yeah, have no white space is the second one. Don't touch a shape is the first. The third is going to be 
having some form of squares, right? Um, so what, what, what can we do here? We, we can do like, like, uh, <laughs> this, cause it's a rectangle. So the shapes just have to be the same. Well, one, one shape has to be smaller than the other. So this is a, it's just like a scaled down version. So if this is four, that's two. If this is six, we need to have a three up here. So we could do something like this. Yeah. Okay. Uh, this is easy. And then this one, we could do this. And then this one. So this is a four by four. So he needs to be a two by two down here. So theoretically that should work. Okay. Um, this is a four by two, but what if we instead just make a four by one? So you don't like that, huh? I guess it has to be like a, an equal shape, right? Gotta, gotta be an equal shape. And then, so it, it, I guess it doesn't really matter what, what shapes are, are in these. Or maybe it does, but I'm not sure it actually does. I think they just have to be equal. Um, e equal, you know, equal vibe, right? So what, what if we instead do, well, yeah, okay. So we, we have to make this big kahuna shape. He, he has to be a big kahuna shape. I'm going to tell you, I really thought this was going to work. But that's, there's, there's a bunch of white space. Uh, white, white space is fine as long as it's not isolated white space. Uh, some Something feels wrong here to me. Th those are obviously, you know, not the same. Oh, but what if we instead do... Um, okay, <laughs> this, this one's a little tricky actually. So you, you got, you got big shape. We, we can't make this, this can never be how we do it, right? Because there's no way to fully isolate the rest of this from here. At least I don't think, um, yeah, there, there's always going to be a square here, I, I think. Well, maybe not. So that fails the second one, which is probably you got to have only two white space spots is my bet. Um, so what if we do like that? So that's a six across. And then that means this one would have to be a three across, but I mean, that's a four across, right? And this is six up. So we can either go six and three, but six and three is never going to work. Or we got to go four and two. But then I don't, four and two is not possible, right? At least it shouldn't be. So it can't be a square is, is I think what we've learned. So what was the rule on rectangles? So this was a four by two, which got shrunk to a two by one. So it was divided by two. So four by four by two gets shrank to a two by one. A six by two would get shrank to a three by two, which would still not work. A six by three can't you we can't do. So a a, a four by a six. <laughs> I sound like a freaking idiot. Uh, a six by two, which is this block here, would get shrunk to a three by two we'd have to include. But that's not physically possible in this. So we have to rethink. To have a four by one, we would have to have an eight by two, which clearly we cannot do. But what if we could shrink it to two two by ones which would mean one big four by two here something like this that fails the second if it passes the third which is interesting fails the second because it has to be two so so what is the math that i'm missing here right 
Um, what about a six by three? So a six by three, you can never have an odd number. Can't have an odd number. So a, a six by... I'm just curious about this. Yeah, it has to have two slots for sure. Um, so if this is a two by two, then we got to have a four by two somewhere. But I feel like you got to have at least four in a line, but then two has to be in a line. So it's got to be at least six in a line. But then if six is in a line, then a six by two, you got to make a three by two. So what, what am I missing? Let's go back to the beginning. So a two by two, divide by two, one by one. A four and a one. Two by two, one by one. Two by two, one by one. Four by two, two by one. That makes sense. Six by two, three by one. Four by two, one by two. Four by four, two by two. Now you got a four by four, but there's no good way to make a two by two out of this. So how do you make that work? I mean, there's a, a one, one by one, and there's another one by one that passes the third one, but it fails the second. Cause I swear the second is dude, you gotta have only two. You gotta have only two. I, the math doesn't really make sense here. I'll walk it through again. If we do a four by four, that means that we have to have another square enclosed in a two by two, or just have a two by two on the grid. It's never possible because the only two by two you can make that doesn't include another square is this spot here. And there's no way to fill in these spots and these spots. So you can't isolate this big square. That means that you got to start messing with smaller squares. If you do a two by two here, there's no way to make a four by four here without touching a square. So once again, no squares. Then you go into rectangles. If it's a six by two, which is, you know, this spot up here, divide by two is going to be a, a three by. You can never fit a three by with a four across square, which means it's got to be a four by two, but then you can never fit a two by two in here or a two by one in here. So I'm, I'm just kind of stuck. The math does not make sense to me. And I'm, I'm probably clearly missing something. Like, you'd think this would work, but it's not, because this is a 4 by 2. Divide by 2 on both those numbers should be a 2 by 1. This is a 2 by 2. two to a 4 by 1, which means this needs to be an 8 by 2. But we don't have an 8 by 2. You know, you, you could pretend that that's adding up to 8, but it's definitely not. I wonder if it's the total number of squares, though. So this is eight squares. I don't think it is, man. <laughs> I really don't think it is. Um, and that's not even the last one. I feel like there's something new we don't know about this. Um, but the, it just continues. The logic makes sense on it to me. So I'm, I'm quite confused. I mean, maybe it doesn't have to be exactly divide by two as long as it's a divide by an even. So then in that case, you could have a one by. Well, the one by will never make sense because if we isolate one of these, then it's always going to create another weird shape here, which will never, ever work. I mean, you could do this, but this is now a weird ass shape. The two makes uh, two makes sense. One is don't touch a shape. Two is you got to have two things. I can prove that, right? So if we isolate this and we isolate this, fails two because two there's three empty spots. But if I fill this in and just do that, two passes now. So we know that. And, and then three is it's got to be you know a four by four, two by two, so some something like that. So what are we missing? What are we missing to to make this work? Six by one, you'd have to have a 12 by two. How many squares are here? This is a four by six. So this is 24, this is six. What if we, what, what if it is like the number of total things? I, I just don't think it is. Oh, that, that even fails too. Just, just humor me. 
with, with this. I, I'm too lazy to count these, but I, I don't think this is it. So this is six by two. So a six by two is, is 12 spots. No, six, this is a five by two. So a five by two is 10 spots, which means that this should then have five spots. I'm just wondering if that's where we have to look at the math here. And then do something where this then has to be five total spots. So if we instead, so that's 12 spots up there. And then this would have to be six spots to combine these guys. So we, we could instead do this. So it's not the, actually, no, this will fail because that's eight now. So we, we would have to, I, I think you maybe understand what I'm getting at. Um, if this is 12, these guys got to be six. So it'd be something like this. So that means that's definitely not it because this is 12. This is six. So it's not total squares divided by two. It's got to be equal shape. Because this, this is a six by two. <laughs> six by two would have to be a three by two. It's, it's just not doable. Well, no, you know what? It may, maybe it is. I mean, could, could it be something weird? Well, I mean, what if it was three generations of it, right? What if it's something like this? A six by three, a three by one, a one by one. <laughs> okay, no, it fail always fails two because it's got to be only two. Yeah, forgot that rule. So you, you have something like this. Where do you go from here? That's a two by four. The way I see it, you, you got to have a, a two by one. But obviously, there's no there's no way to include two of those in a two by one. Dude, the math makes no sense to me. I, it feels like my logic is sound. It does. This is the worst episode yet. We accomplished nothing. <laughs> we accomplished literally nothing. Uh, I am so sorry. I am so sorry. We at least got four or five done. Um, but god dang, four section four is rough. It's a rough boy. Um, I'll continue to stare at this a little off camera. Uh, feel free to offer your suggestions in the comments, but I probably will already have the next episode recorded. Uh, we might jump to 4.7 and then come back if I don't think of anything. Um, there, there's no shame in that. But thanks so much for watching. As always, like on the video. Much appreciate. I'll see you in the next one. Have a good rest of your day. Bye-bye.